It's your boy James with the Stop Being Dirty, Stop Eating Dirty, Stop Living Dirty. When are y'all going to understand that this thing we call life, <clears throat> we only get one of them. One of them. Tomorrow isn't promised to none of us. So why not live this life to your happiest, best abilities? Why are you holding on to the relationship that didn't work out? The friend that backstabbed you? The job that didn't turn out the way you wanted to? Family member, listen to me. None of that is going to matter when you look back at this life that you'll no longer have one day. It's the inevitable. Why not live it to the best ability of happiness? Smile more. Laugh more. Let go and stop focusing on the things you can not control. I'm telling you, the dwelling and all the energy you're using on the things that don't matter is truly going to matter even less the day you finally realize it. But don't wait till it's too late. You're here right now. Live this life beautifully because it's a beautiful life to live. You woke up today with air organic. Oh my God. You're done. Listen, I'm surprised it took him this long. Organic is tired. He's fed up. And it's, that's, see, you're, you're bothered. The guy don't want to be bothered. He's calm, cool, and collective. He don't start nothing with nobody. He's smiling at events. Oh, so he's hosting, having a good old time, having some drinks. He's chilling. I've been around organic plenty of times. Smooth demeanor, laid back, get a little drink on, get a little smoke on, laughs and giggles. It's all good with that man. Even when he was going at, not going at, but kind of responding to the, the um you know, putting out, he was reminding people of all the things that King of the Dot created and they did first. Tournaments, money things, things like that. He's finally like even dropped the name, talking directly about URL and Smack and more in a response to like all the hate King of the Dot is getting. Let me remind y'all what we've done. Even in that video, the man is so calm. He did it against the headboard of his bedroom, for God's sakes. He couldn't even, he didn't have to sit down or stand. He's sitting down, laying down. He probably was twiddling, twiggling his toes, probably had no socks on. Under the sheets, chilling. And now you unleash the beast. Organic announces he's sick and tired of people taking shots at King of the Dot. He's going to start exposing the truth. The truth to you battle, you battle rappers that be in the DMs. You battle rappers that are trying to get booked on King of the Dot. But you want to, you don't get bit, booked on King of the Dot. You eventually get on Smack. Now you throwing up that Smack flag. You coming at King of the Dot. See, that's not how this works. And organic probably kept a lot of that in private because you know what I mean? It didn't really matter to him. But imagine how many lines. Organic is a fan of battle rap, not only just a league owner. You know how many times he's heard lines about King of the Dot? And he's sick of it. And today, he announced that he ain't taking this no more. So all you battlers out there who's been taking shots at King of the Dot... But knowing damn well, you in his inbox, and that's what he was saying in reference to Don Marino, my boy Donald Marinith. Um, salute to Don Marino. Uh, ain't nothing, ain't nothing but good energy between him and I. You know what I'm saying? I hope to see him do well. Always have. You know, I think we 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 met on the well, not met, but in the DM. You know what I'm saying? When he was running his league, he asked me if I wanted to do a host. I, I don't know why it never happened. I can't remember, but he reached out to me a couple of times, like host on his league and, or like be on his league after that, whatever. Nothing ever turned out to to happen, unfortunately. You know, you know what I'm saying? He get busy, I get busy. Life gets busy, but at the end of the day, um, always had a good rapport. But this is where it popped off today. You know what I'm saying? He basically like. Um, had a, he, he basically, he, he's saying like, he basically referenced to clone being like a king of the dot rapper and saying it in a derogatory sense of, or at least that's how clone and organic is taking it and saying like, go over there, you a king of the dot rapper trying to like downplay it. So organic is like, oh, you Donnie boy, Donnie, Donnie, Marine, Marino, no Marine Don, no Don. I know you not talking, and I got you on my beeper cell phone, inbox, mailbox, Gmail, AOL, AIM. 
I know you ain't hollering at me to be on my league and you trying to play my league. This, if it, <laughs> we gotta know better, people. That's not how y'all should roll. Looking further into it, I oh the, so look so that's how the thread goes. Clone says this is what happened. Dahmer and then Don Rito cleans the air. It's like yo, I didn't even come at King of the Dot in that sense. I called you a King of the Dot rapper, but um I guess before Organic got the full details on what happened, he was just automatically like, and that's how you should react. Like oh I know you're not even saying nothing about nothing with my league in your in your rhymes when you wanted to be on my league. Now fast forward. Fortunately, and, and, and dope, I love the fact that Don Marino has said that him and Organic had talked privately. They cleared the air. It's all good between them. But I'm telling you this. This is just a casualty of war. Because even if he didn't mean it that way, even if it was blown out of proportion, and even if him and Organic got on a better term, Organic meant what he said. Don Marino is just the tip of the iceberg of Organic being fed up. And he said, that's it. So all you smack rappers... RBE rappers, anybody who ain't a King of the Dot artist who once had wanted to be on King of the Dot, you have any downplay or trying to talk ish about King of the Dot or organic Sloop My God Gully, it's on. And I love it. You people have to understand the entertainment between league owners are the best thing for the leagues. I was just talking to the homie the other day about that. Just yesterday, I believe. This is great. Put or, organic, ARP, smack. Just go, go after each other. Do what you got to do. Because the more they dislike each other, the more they're going to try to make their leagues look good and better than one another. Which leads to bigger events better battles and great greater and better consumption for the fans to view battle rap we're fans we're supporters we're in the mix we want to see big events we want to see the summer madnesses we want to see the blackouts we want to see the max out we want to see all of this and the more these leagues are in competition with each other, the more they're going to push their brand forward. And therefore, the more as fans, we are going to get better and bigger battles and battle rap events that all in all would, would, would are going to be prosperous for these leagues, for the battlers and for battle rap as a whole, as a culture. We all want to see the culture grow, right? This is how it happens. Go ahead, fellas. Do what you gotta do. I love it. And a way for this to happen is when the artists start talking ish they shouldn't be talking. Organic, like again I said, is it, it, this just so happened to be a misunderstanding, but Organic showed his true colors and not in a bad way. It's about time way of being like, yo, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of hearing people say things about King of the Dot when y'all wanted to get on King of the Dot. That ain't how that works. That's like you trying to holler at a shorty. She curved you. And now you talking about the who. The, that's corny. So you couldn't bag. Now suddenly she don't look as bad. Cornball. That's not how people should roll at all. And now. It's going to be uh, put out there. And um. I think it's good for Organic to stand up for himself, to stand up for his brand. I think he played the cool guy for far too long. And I think it's time for him to uh, under make people understand that he does hold weight in this game. King of the Dot, one of the biggest battle rap leagues ever to be in battle rap. And yes, you know, we already spoke about it before. I have a whole blog on it. You know, you could check in when I spoke about like the real reason King of the Dot's been like fell off and things like that. You know, what, what the world went through. Not going to say it on here, but you know, they'd be funny with it on YouTube. But you know. It hit Canada hard. It's a whole different country. And he still was able to put a $100,000 tournament through, you know, in Cali and things like that. And like every rest in peace past stay. And a lot's been going on with them. And it's like they're still trying to plan their big comeback. And I hope the best for that league. And I want to see a great comeback. But let's not forget that when they come back, that that battle, that that um event's going to be uh, uh, monumental. 
You know what I'm saying? It's going to be their biggest of comeback event back in Canada where their true love, true supporters, and true fans are. And I'm hyped to see it, just like I'm hyped to see when Max Out drops with RBE, just like I'm hyped to see when uh, um, URL comes out with the big events. Like, I'm hyped to see it. At the end of the day, we all want to see Battle Rap get pushed forward. So, like, um, Suits are Organic, and, like, I hope to see King of the Dot back soon and the warnings out for you rappers that's throwing shots at king of the dot but be in the inbox and i love it it's beautiful things gonna be beautiful battle rappers to be nothing but help the culture grow what do y'all think about this hit that like button understand that yesterday's sorrows should not affect happiness for tomorrow hit that subscribe button and stop being dirty with it.